Today I'm here at my very favorite hardware store to get a handle for my plum anchor axe. And let me tell you this place is a gem. Hello Bob. How you doing? Good. Bob here is the proprietor of this year fine establishment that's been in operation since what year Bob? 1892. 1892 and been in the family since that whole time, correct? Correct. Excellent. And the big difference between Bob and Bob's establishment and Home Depot is that I could ask Bob where any item in this store is and he could find it for me rather than shrugging his shoulders. So thank you Bob for your business. I hope that you're here another 124 years. Now this place is amazing. It's more than just a hardware store. In fact, in my opinion, it's what a hardware store should be. It's stocked from floor to ceiling, wall to wall, with all manner of stuff. Everything that you could hope to find at a hardware store, as well as being a bit of a time capsule. In the back corner, there's a little museum, kind of some day-to-day -day stuff from days gone by. These stores still exist. They are around your neighborhoods, so seek them out. Even though they may keep reduced hours compared to your Lowe's or Home Depot, go use these stores support your local businesses and the families that own them. But you know, I'm not here for hardware. I'm here for an axe handle. $13.95 later, I have a grade A choice, genuine hickory axe handle. Complete with satisfactory grain orientation. It's not perfect. It's a little bit diagonal, but I assure you that this is perfectly satisfactory. It does have a little bit of an off-cut kerf off to the side a little bit, but given the choices, uh, this was the best one that had no no knots, no, uh, no deformities in the wood, and had good grain orientation as well. So I'm going to go ahead with the thinking that this is not going to be a real big issue. Thank <laughs> you. 